Hello and welcome. In this video series of Azure Key Vault, today we are going to learn how we can import or generate keys on the Azure portal. I have also created a playlist on Azure Function Apps, Azure Logic Apps, and Azure Database for MySQL. If you are interested, I will provide the link to those playlists in the description box. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. In the next video, we will learn how we can fetch these keys from our code and, and use them there. So to uh, generate or import keys, let's go to portal.azu.com. So once we are so once we are logged on to the portal.azu.com, click on this key vaults icon here. So these are the uh, key vaults that we have created in our previous videos. So let's click on this one first. So here we can uh, generate a key or we can generate a secret or certificate. Similarly, we can import a key or a, uh, or a secret or a certificate. Let's click on this keys option. So here we can generate or import a key. Let's click on generate button. So here we have to enter the name of the key. Let's say YT key. And then we have to choose the type of the key that we are going to create. For example, we have this RSA cryptographic algorithm. The key will be based on RSA algorithm. Then we have this elliptic curve cryptographic algorithm. So then the key will be based on this. So for RSA, we have these three key sizes available 2048, 3072, 4096. And similarly for EC, we have these four options available. So let's go with RSA for now and choose the key size to be 2048. Then we have to enter the activation date and expiration date if we want our key to be active, active for a particular period. So for now, we are not going to set these settings. Then we have this enable option. So if we enable this option, we can use this key right now in our code or somewhere else. If we disable it, then we have to enable it from here first then only we can be able to use it then we have this tags option we can add any tags like this is my key for development purpose or this is a test key or this is the key for production environment something like that so so that we, it will be easily findable on the portal using those tags whenever we want so then we have these key rotation policies how many how the key will be changed confidential option exportable will would this key be exportable directly to some other place let's click on this create button for now so we have successfully created our YT key. Similarly, if we try to import a key, so here we have to import a key. We have to upload a file from our local system and this file, that file will be stored here. Then we can click on this create option. That key will be stored. Now let's go to this secrets option. So here we can store our secrets like we can either generate a secret here or a certificate or we can import it from our system so let's say the secret name is yt secret then we have to enter the secret value like the secret value would be some password or some database connection string or something like that. let's store our secret here let it be So then we have to choose the content type it's optional then we have to set the activation date similarly as we did with the uh, keys then enable it and then we can add the, some tags so the secret is successfully created I have also created those scripts here previously similarly we can import a certificate or we can generate a certificate here so to generate a certificate we have to enter the name of the certificate like yt certificate then we have to uh, enter the type of authority who signed the certificate self assigned or issued by some integrity cert uh, certificate authority then dns names those that will be included then we have to enter the validity period of the certificate like it's 12 months for now then pkcs option or pm content type then lifetime action automatically renew queue key on a given percentage lifetime like if i set the percentage 25 percent then the key will be renewed after every three months similarly uh, 
and then we had this advanced policy and then we had tags like we did with the keys and i click on this create button so we, we have successfully created the certificate here so mostly what we do we don't create generate the certificates here we import the certificates from our system we enter the name of the certificate we select a file from our system and then we can uh, we have set some password for that certificate and then we can use that certificate or share it with some other person the next video we will learn how can we can fetch these keys using our code and use them there thanks for watching